I am so thrilled and thankful to be involved in this beautiful film, Harbor from the Holocaust, directed by Violet Dufang. I had heard about Jewish refugees living in Shanghai before, but I have never heard any of their individual stories, so this film is really a beautiful way of looking at history and these personal experiences of people who survived the Holocaust by fleeing to Shanghai. On this score, I'm thrilled and happy to have some wonderful collaborators, beginning with Niv Ashkenazi, who plays all the violin solos. I knew Chad back when we were at Juilliard together, but this is the first time getting to actually work with him on this wonderful film. And today I have with me one of the violins of hope. This instrument right here is part of the collection of instruments that have all survived the Holocaust and have been restored by luthiers Amnon Weinstein and Afshi Weinstein. And this is one of their instruments. This is one of the first instruments that they restored. And I'm the only person currently that has one of these instruments on long-term loan. So I'm really excited to get to share this instrument with this project. It is uh, about 100 or so years old, this instrument. It has a beautiful Star of David on the back made out of abalone shell, which is somewhat typical for the time, but we don't see that nowadays. I was born and raised here in California, but my parents are both Israeli, and uh, we always would go back to Israel, and that's actually where I fell in love with the violin, just seeing a violinist on the street corner playing. But my connection to the Holocaust um, is not personally as direct. My side of the family is from Israel, from Syria, and Yemen, but my wife's family was directly impacted by the Holocaust. Her grandparents were married before the war and they ended up being sent to two different concentration camps and miraculously after the war they actually came back and found each other and lived the rest of their lives together. But this is something that's very personal to us as a family and uh, getting to do this work with this instrument has been very special. We recently collaborated on an album together. Uh, it was the first solo album on one of the Violins of Hope, and my wife, Leah Cohn, who's a bassoonist, she was the one that produced the album. The album is called Niv Ashkenazi Violins of Hope, and has primarily works by composers that were affected by the Holocaust. Some were in the Holocaust, some managed to escape. And then the rest of the music is all music that has really influenced um, Jewish music as we know it today. We also have Rabbi Avram Lotek, whom I had the wonderful opportunity of meeting in Jerusalem last year at a wedding of a friend. Avram has brought some deep soulfulness and, of course, the cultural um, representation of, of the Jewish faith to the score. Everyone, this is Avram Lotek. Delighted to be working on this project with you all. Uh, it speaks very much to my own family history. As my grandfather, Yasom Latek, was a Holocaust refugee, fled Warsaw, and spent the war years in Shanghai. And so I feel privileged to lend my voice to this project. Thank you to everyone involved. And lastly, we're really lucky to have Yo-Yo Ma be playing some of the cello solos on the score, starting with a piece that his father wrote. And he's also playing um, a melody that I've written that's inspired by a tune written by Mordecai Gepertik, who died in the Krakow ghetto in 1942. I hope you can all experience this film. It comes out September 8th on PBS. And I hope this film can uh, help us better understand the plight of refugees around the world today.